Hello everyone, my name is Benjamin and welcome back to Blackburn Solutions. In today's video, I will be walking you guys through uh, the step-by-step -step process on how to create your own personal mock-up. Okay, so I'm going to be using this 5 liter gallon to do that. But before we kick start with the video, I want you to do me a favor. Please kindly pause with whatever you're doing right now and hit on the like button for me. Please do so right now. Please, yeah, please go on. Hit on the like button for me. Alright, so if you have done that, thank you so much for doing that. And if this is your first time of being in here, this is Blabbing Solutions. And we are into the production of graphic design video tutorial. So if you think videos of this nature would be of great benefit to you, then I encourage you to hit on the like button. And uh, turn on the notification icon. So th as to be the first person to receive... Uh, our videos whenever i release a new one if you've already done that thank you so much for showing up once again uh on the channel I recently made a, a video on how to create a detergent label uh, so the label was for a 5 liter gallon and uh, I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step process on how to create a, a mock-up of that label on top onto this gallon right good so uh, in here you realize that this gallon is not a vector image it's just a raw uh, mere image you know so i i personally place this guy in here so what i'm going to do is we are, we are going to be using the vanishing point to do that okay so first of all what i'm going to be doing is uh, let's quickly bring in a label so we are going to bring in this guy over here so then let's put this guy away so there you go we have this nice looking label if you've not watched the video on how i made this design the link will be up here so do want to check it out and watch it so uh with this label what i'm going to be doing is um hold on your control key and select this portion so you realize this is how the, it looks the kessa so when you bring the kessa on top here the it turns into a hand okay so hold your control key on the keyboard and uh, hit this portion like this and you realize we have a selection made around the edges of the image so what i'm going to do right now is just copy that selection control c control c to copy that and let's turn this layer off then control d uh, we would need to take off the smart object thumbnail from this guy and uh so to do that let me duplicate this layer ctrl j to duplicate this layer then turn this one off so in case we something goes wrong we can just come back and uh, rely on the old one so let's right click on this guy this way and let's say rasterize layer and uh, we are done rasterizing this layer so uh, let's come to the filter menu and let's choose vanishing point Good. so in here we are going to select this guy create plane tool and we are just going to uh, create these mesh lines around the uh, portion where we would want the to fit so with this click in here okay and let's drag this line not too much so have, drag this line over here then let's drag this guy downwards then let's drag this guy back in here. All right, so you realize this looks cool. And uh, since we've already copied our uh, image, we're just going to say Control V and paste the image in here. So this image looks very big. So Control T and let's scale this guy. Hold your Shift and Alt key and let's drag this guy this way. Okay, so. With your shift and alt key we have this guy looking this way great so now that we have this thing sorry sorry to say this thing let's hold here and drag this guy 
until we get it in of our so let's now scale it up so you can do it together okay so we are scaling this guy now all right all right so uh that is how it looks and you realize that we have finally created the mock-up of a gallon so uh, when you are done just hit on okay and uh, so there you have it uh, we've we've created the mock-up for a gallon so that is it and that brings us to the end of our video tutorial so i i believe you've learned something new in here if you did remember to give this video a like and uh consider becoming part of this family by subscribing to the channel if you didn't get any parts correct if you didn't get any part right don't worry it's a video so just take your time pause and play the video okay and if you still don't get anything right just comment your concern or your uh let me say your problem in the comment box below and i'll be glad to give you a feedback on it thank you so much for watching this video uh until i come your way next time at the still blabbing solutions and see you in the next one i'm out